So this is kind of turning into a weekly video recording of progress on the pirate ship. And this week was the rest of the drivetrain frame. Last week there was uh, these two pieces of box tubing with the cog and the guide rollers in to make sure all that fit. And this week build out the rest of that drivetrain frame. One interesting thing um, people may appreciate are these two diagonals um, that are kind of cocked at an angle from uh, the rest of the ship or the rest of the frame um, and some people may find it interesting how these guys were notched and cut out to fit around the rest of the frame and so to cut these diagonal pieces out and get them notched so that they wrap around this box tubing I did it up in Google SketchUp first and for this diagonal what I could do is measure the length of each line and each corner where it wraps around um, and get all that information and all those numbers off of there after getting this position exactly where I want then I have those numbers and then I, from there I can lay them all out uh, measure across and in this case I actually printed um, it to scale or at least these end pieces to scale and just spaced them the right distance apart from each other um, and I made a cardboard template um, that cardboard template um, this was the second or the first one because I didn't like the angle it came up so I went back and changed it but you can see how crazy those notches work out to be but if you look here you get a pretty good fit of what you want now this one connected closer to right above that vertical and I liked it coming out a little bit and that plate up there is where the crow's nest is gonna mount to so I wanted to give a little extra support to that and I definitely needed the support near the cog because otherwise this point right here would take the whole moment load so this tube was I was actually able to slide it right over a piece of 4x4 four four tubing and then transfer those lines all the way around and cut it with a torch and probably went a little bit overkill with the weld but um, it's definitely beefy enough a lot of this other stuff this is uh, gusset plates more for looks than anything that kind of keeps the lines flowing in the right way but um, these pieces capped off the plate at the top for the crow's nest and uh, these teeth um, these teeth actually aren't going to be sticking out in front of the vehicle the wheel will roll up in front of them but kind of gives the impression that it'll uh, break around the waves so or break around the wheel and push things to the side um, this plate up here um, this will mount the lateral rollers that will be putting a lateral force on the wheel um, help control the wheel while steering and um, getting the rest of this together and maybe even partially painting this this next week um, and the mount for the gearbox will go up and that's what's coming up next week so that gearbox I need to clean it but that's gonna be and the gearbox and the motor mount for the ship so that'll be mounted right on the side here um, but that's all next week so that's everything for this week